taking a rare look tonight into the specialized training of a certain kind of crime fighter at the NYPD. It can be grueling, but these cops seem to handle it pretty well. And even if they feel like complaining about the intensity of the training, they don't talk about it. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco. Despite the snow, NYPD canines never stop their training. If a dog had to go in to retrieve articles, evidence, or a perpetrator, or find a lost child, so to speak, that's uh, replicating that scenario on the street that we might have. Eyewitness News got a behind the scenes look at the NYPD's newest crime fighters in training at the Emergency yeah. Service yeah. Unit facility in yeah. Brooklyn. We're in week 14 of 20 weeks. We have seven new handlers and, and new dogs. Our primary function is patrol, where we're out on the street 24 hours a day, seven days a week, answering 9-11 jobs. The dogs patrol parades, sniff out explosives, narcotics, and find missing people. This year, their canines are featured in the Police Foundation calendar. All the proceeds go to fund the NYPD's foundation, which supports youth programs, purchases protective gear, funds anti-terrorism overseas, and enables the NYPD to train more or canine crime fighters. He's a patrol dog, he's a narcotics detection dog, and he's also a search and rescue dog, a live, a live find search and rescue. Uh, we went to Puerto Rico. This is seven year old Harley, featured in the month of May. His handler, Officer Scott McDonald, has been working and living with him for the last six years. He's very even keeled, very friendly, but when he needs to be aggressive or he needs to act and work, he can turn it on and off. This new class of ESU canines will be done with training and ready to hit the street in February. These foundation calendars go for $20 a piece, and if you'd like to get your own version and support the NYPD, you can go to the foundation website. In Brooklyn, I'm Diana Rocco, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.